Hello and welcome in Stocks Advisor again. Here at our channel, we are looking for interesting buy opportunities, and therefore today we will talk about grocery outlet holdings traded at Nasdaq TK and MGO. Well, GO is declining already, like uh, second, third almost uh, week trading sessions in one row with some volatility spikes that were seen uh, one week ago here. But overall, the price is going down from the level of uh, about uh, 49 all the way until uh, today's 37. 25, which is intraday, the yellow uh, candle you can see here. Uh, we are sitting just below moving average 200 here, experiencing also the support from previous long term before observed support line that sits also on the same level and actually uh, also using moving average 200 as additional attractor here and that moving average 200 is the red line so let's call this support line S1 we have also here other moving averages depicted it's moving average 20, 50 and aforementioned 200 being green, blue and red lines correspondingly so what can we see overall for the price action uh, GO is trading quite volat volatilely this uh, half a year, uh, showing several trends and um, also sh showing several channels. So what we can see, uh, there was one, um, let's say, straight channel that we saw here and you can uh, actually yeah, easily draw those. So um, there was one channel in this area and if we draw it with a line, actually we can see this was a long time ongoing upwards uh, trade channel with the top, let's call it R1. So this channel uh, was sealing the, the price action from the top. Uh, also, it was uh, combined with the lower, let's say, trend narrowing channel R2 and actually they were narrowing. Now what we can see here that uh, there is also a straight channel uh, with S1 line on the bottom here and you can see uh, this line. Let's draw it green as well. Uh, <coughs> sorry, now uh, let's call it S2 line. So uh, here we see uh, actually two channels and uh, the brown channel R1, R2 that took place almost uh, 4.5, 4 almost five months, now is seemingly converting to a straighter channel uh, S2, S1. Might go still pierce a little bit further down, but overall what we can see here that the narrowing channel R1, R2 is slightly changing and um, this is also confirmed by the facts that, for example, um, after seeing at the beginning of November really top also combined with the within, uh, quarter three report news, we see that the price is declining here, but overall the behavior of the company, uh, its forecasts are quite positive from fundamental point of view, although technically, of course, it was a little bit bearish and indeed the price action did follow the same advice. So now what we see here that the moving average 200 is still positive and it's actually linearly growing, which is very nice indication. If we would just draw a line on top of it, we can see it's straight linear growth, meaning that it will the drag price upwards anyway. So it's a very strong attractor here and the price is volatile actually between moving average 200 and S2 line these two days. Uh, also, we see that moving average 20 and 50 are actually uh, flowing, floating around each other and uh, showing consequ consequently series of moving, uh, magic crosses up and down and moving average 20 hits moving average 50 from top and the, from, from the bottom. So previous magic cross up we saw uh, here somewhere 19 of October and then the, the the chart is preparing actually to show us magic cross down when moving average 20 will hit from the top moving average 50 but the price action already did its decline meaning that this magic cross will be either a delay of the decline or actually a momentarily bullish effect uh, as it usually happens and with this having said what we can do here we can prepare and we can expect some upwards move with this sense the price is becoming very interesting here that actually the chart is very interesting to place your first entry opportunities and it's already the first entry circle is already happening so it's advised to buy anything below um, moving average 200 and actually a little bit lower than S1 because there is also another volatility level you can clearly see here 
uh, at about 36 so actually everything between uh, let's go to be one line so everything between uh, SMA 20 uh, 200 so the red line and V1 is the first circle so in the vicinity of S1 uh, then it is expected if technical uh, situation will work already as a changer of the play so kind of reconfirming S2 S1 uh, channel the price will try to return to the channel R1 R2 therefore we can expect reversal movement of the price all the way until R2 and then depending on how it will go it might either piece further uh, upwards towards s2 or it might decline so here it's still a question if we reach those levels it's already advised to sell because the profit might be up to actually 10 percent and 15 percent and usually we advise to sell if you have these profits from our analysis because we think that the trade should be done consequently and the profit should be done from trade to trade never try to become rich from one trade because that's not a technical trading actually uh, another situation possible if we still continue based on some negativity the decline of the price which is least probable but still might happen it will be more like a piercing rather than actually really going downward so we might observe piercing candles of a shape for example that we saw here um, end of May or for example another piercer we saw a kind of piercing attempt we saw here at about 7 of September so these kind of candles when you have very long uh, downward shadow and then uh, the body is usually located somewhere in the upper part so these kind of piercers we can see this would mean actually also like a uh, morning star effects on the downward strength so the price means that price will go to return it's it's not given that it will fully return but at least it will be strong rebounds until r2 level is expected from the current situation if the price goes further down of course there are other very nice support levels we can see here on the chart and uh, actually these are these are several lines it's it's a declining trend for example uh, this one being actually uh, if you look this kind of a final support line also coinciding with this support that was formed uh, in the middle of June so here and with this said let's call it uh, S2 and the downwards then would be uh, T1 so anything between S2 T1 so this triangle would be by a second circle uh, with, again we advise average down with strategy one to two so you buy here with one circle you average down in case with two circles then if, if we reach those levels then the price reversal should take place until actually um, S1 or moving average 200 somewhere in between here this would be the sell opportunity for this one uh, then still will, will be the question if we have a new downwards uh, channel formed or we still have an upper channel. If we go to the second dark circle, it might be that we'll be forming T1 and there will be another uh, channel you can see here. So something like, like this it could be. So T1, let's call it uh, T2. If this would be the case, um, it will, although it's an opening channel, so it, it wouldn't stay too long. Uh, it could be a situation like that. If we reverse from the first dark circle, then we actually might go until R2 and then still the question if we will pierce R2 and T1, there will be double resist here or we return uh, to moving average 200 using it as support line here. So still will be the question as I do here. So we will come back probably later to this stock to analyze. But for the moment, the current analysis and advice is it's first buy here. And if not, uh, if not playing immediately upwards, then uh, average down at lower levels. Uh, overall, GO is preparing actually for nice uh, bullish reversal momentum. Uh, all indicators are saying for that. Also, if you look uh, moving average, as I said, moving averages. Also, if you look at RSI here, you can clearly see it did uh, indeed decline straightly from almost overbought area to almost oversold. Still might do one wave like this down and then it will be really uh, bullish effect. So it might be something like we saw here, for example, one way up, down and then going reversing finally to a fast move. And similarly, if we look at MS, um, actually MACD, 
this one is the most interesting one because after having on the previous waves double positive wave now it's going down showing very nice negative very deep negative wave and seemingly bottoming already so it should start reversing and actually uh, reversal recovery of the bottom wave of MACD is usually very bullish indicator you can see here for example it always coincide with move up here it coincide with the move up in the middle of July then the same by end of August there was this small action here um, etc so every time you see uh, the return symmetrical return of negative MACD wave it's a bullish effect and seems like we are now about this and therefore we have uh, all bullish indicators on uh, except maybe slightly um, kind of dodgy kind of uh, candles here but we are prepared them for average down in this case so with this having said geo is nice to wait and observe also uh yeah put your yeah price expectations and alerts here if you want to play it and uh with this thank you for watching the current episode do not forget to subscribe to our channel if you didn't do so already press the bell button this way you will not miss our new videos and new interesting discussions for us based stocks